This is a data structures question based upon queues. We have been given two queues, Q1 and Q2. Q1 is initially having the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 in this order. And we have to put all of them into the Q2, which is initially empty in the reverse order, which is 4, 3, 2, and 1. The allowed operations are NQ and DQ on both the queues. So for performing this operation, we have to determine what is the minimum number of NQ operations required on Q1 to get this as the final result. So now for performing this operation, we will discuss two different algorithms. First one, let us say this is our Q1, this is our Q2. Q1 is initially having the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what we will be doing is we will DQ this 1 from Q1 and we will NQ it back into Q1 over here. So this is one NQ operation. So now the contents of our queue is 2, 3, 4 and 1. Now in the next step, we will DQ this 2 and we will NQ it back into Q1 itself. So this is the second NQ operation and Q2 is still empty. In the next step, we are having the queue as 3, 4, 1, 2. We will DQ this 3 and NQ it back into Q1. So now the contents are 4, 1, 2, 3. Q2 is still empty. Now in this step, we will DQ this 4 and push it, which means we'll NQ it into this Q2 instead of Q1. So this 4 will be NQed in Q2. Now contents of our Q1 is 1, 2 and 3 simply. So in the next step, we will DQ this 1 and NQ it back into Q1 this way. So that is the fourth NQ operation. Now we are having the contents 2, 3 and 1. So in the next step, we will DQ this 2 and NQ it back. This is the fifth operation we got. Now the content is 3, 1, 2. So in this step, we will DQ this 3 and NQ it in Q2 instead of Q1. Now the content of Q1 is 1 and 2. So in this step, we will DQ this 1 and NQ it back. This is the sixth NQ operation we got in Q1. So now, Content is 2 and 1. So in the next two steps, we will DQ this 2, push it, NQ it in Q2. And in the last step, DQ this 1 and NQ it in Q2. So we got the result. And with this algorithm, we required 6 NQ operations in Q1. So with ALGO1, we got 6 NQ operations in Q1. Now let us have a look at the ALGO2. Now in this algorithm, instead of enqueuing these elements in Q1, we will be enqueuing them in Q2. Let us see how. The initial contents of Q1 is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So in step 1, we will dequeue this 1 from here and enqueue it in Q2. Now in the next step, we have the content as 2, 3 and 4 in Q1. So we will DQ this 2 and NQ it in Q2 instead of Q1. So now in Q2 we got the elements as 1 and 2. So what we will be doing now is we will DQ this 1 from Q2 and NQ it back in Q2 itself. So now it contents will become 2 and 1 in that order. And over here we are having the content as 3 and 4. So in the next step, we will DQ this 3 and NQ it in Q2. So now its contents have become 2, 1 and 3. So in the next step, we will DQ this 2 from Q2 and NQ it back into Q2. So its contents have become 1, 3, 2. In the next step, do the same, DQ this 1 and NQ it back. So now the contents have become 3, 2, 1. And over here, we are having simply 4 left. So just DQ that and NQ that over here. So the contents Q2 became 3, 2, 1, 4. So now in the next 3 steps, we will DQ that 3 and NQ it back. DQ the 2 and NQ it back. DQ the 1 and NQ it back. So we got the result 4, 3, 2 and 1 in Q2. 
and now we have observed that we performed all the nq operations these are the extra nq operations we performed only in q2 no extra nq operation was performed in q1 so these will not be counted we only wanted the minimum number of nq operations on q1 so in this algorithm we required zero nq operations on q1 so we have been asked the minimum number of nq operations so with this two algorithms one gave us six and one gave us zero so we will go with this second algorithm and the answer will be zero we did not require any nq operation on q1 we needed six operations same way on q2 but nothing on q1 so the correct answer will be zero for this question